Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Thank you for clicking on this video. In this video, I'll be talking about some of my favorite fonts that I use on a daily basis. So I do a lot of graphic design, a lot of animation, and I also do a lot of video work where I have to use text. Also, I'll be bundling up these fonts, so you can click the link in the description and download these fonts through my website. So the first font, which is my favorite font, is Lotto. And I use this for pretty much almost everything that if I don't have a style for it, I'm going to pretty much throw down this font because there's so many different variations of this font. So you can use light, medium, bold, and so forth. And this pretty much works for almost everything that I do. So this is a lot of my, you know, I use a lot of my basic text with this font. And it's just really, you know, clean and it really gets the job done. And for my next font is Gotham. And it's pretty much very similar to Lotto, but uh, it's a little bit, it has a little bit more design to it. And, uh, you know, it's still a great font. It's probably my second favorite font of all time. And I use it for pretty much everything as well if Lotto does not do the job. The next font is Sansation. And this font is really good if you would love to have Sans Serif, but also have a little bit of style. This font really does the job, and it's great for a lot of things. Walkway. You know, I consider this font a wildcard font because it'll either work for your project or absolutely not work for your project. There's a lot of different variations with this font as well, which I really like about it. And, I mean, you'll find a lot of great uses for it anyway. And for the last Sans Serif font, it is Beepaz. And I, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but I'm going to say I did pronounce it right. And this font is also one of my favorite fonts of all time. It is perfect for if you want to make a bold statement or if you want to kind of have, I don't know, a modern design with your flyer or wherever you're designing. It's absolutely perfect. The only downside to it is all in caps, which, you know, I really think that's the characteristic of the font. But... You know, I find it very valuable. Now moving on to serif fonts, and the first one we hear we got is Rockwell. And I, you know, I use this font. You know, if I'm working, you know, on something that's gonna have to be adventurous or something that needs to make a statement. You know, I think this font is great if you want to be serious, but also kind of have a little bit sense of adventure of this font. And for the next one is Onyx, and I hope I said that right as well. And there's really only one use for this font, and that's really just for you know higher end luxury jewelry. Uh, you know, just, I hardly use this font, but it's great to have in your library uh, because you never know when you might need it. Sanford is a really good font if you don't want to go over the top and with a serious tone or be too minimalistic. I think this is a really safe fallback font. Trochi, and I hope I said that font correctly, and I really feel like this is a font for, you know, if you want to be fancy or you're working with a higher end client, uh, you really want to set a mood for a party or whatever, I think this font will really do the job for you. And I know most of you guys already have this font times and probably have heard of it, but I find this font to always bail me out when I need a serif font. It works per, for pretty much almost everything that I do. And if the previous fonts don't work for the client or the project, I'm always going to revert back to times. It never fails me. It's always my backup plan. And, you know, usually this works great for law firms, financial firms, you know, a lot of serious businesses. And it doesn't really seem to fail, so it's a great font. For the five script fonts that I have on here, I'm not saying these are the best whatsoever. There's going to be a ton of different uh, answers for your project. And script fonts, you know, they vary just depending on what your needs are. So my first font here is Lobster, and it really has that, you know, vintage sort of feel to it, kind of bold. And, you know, if you really want to make it like an antique style, I think that is a, I think this font is great for it. Pacifico, I think more of a beachy, you know, I think Pacific really defines, you know, California beach, you know, sort of, you know, a flip-flop business. Then we have Janda, which is really just fancy. If you want to kind of create, you know, a fancy clothing store or whatever, I think this font works great. Then we have Brushwood, which I consider more of an artistic font, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> and then for my last font, I have Forcelli, and I hope I said that correctly. And I consider this more for, you know, fashion and clothing. And once again, you can download these fonts in the description. And if you feel like I missed out a font that you use or one of your favorite fonts, you know, please leave a comment below. I would love to see what other fonts I missed. You know, I don't know all the fonts in the world. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys soon.